So in the last part, we took our pot and separated it into the top and bottom components. And what I want to do now is with the bottom component, give it a bit of a extrusion. So it actually has thickness. Uh, to do this, here's what we are going to do. And it's not as easy as just adding an extrude node, and I'll show you why. So we're going to start off, yes, with an extrude node. Uh, make sure this is not set to individual because it ma makes it weird. Um, and bring down the extrusion to something that is roughly the thickness of the pot that you want. Now we have this, but you're going to notice if you look very carefully, it's not a solid object, which I guess isn't that important for this render, but I do want it to be topologically sound. Um, in other words, what I mean is if we look at the face orientation, the outside's fine. It should all be blue, but you can kind of see this red exposed. Uh, we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same selection from before and flip the faces. So now if we look at the uh, face orientation, um, it's uh, reversed. So here's this one and here's the reversed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these together so we can actually just join them and then run a merge by distance to connect the uh, close points. And now we have a solid mesh that is nice and blue everywhere. In other words, it's kind of like an airtight mesh uh, that you can use for simulating and stuff like this. This is what we are going to connect with everything else. And I know we have a bit of node spaghetti here, so let's clean that up too. So here we have our pot. Again, we don't have this top section yet because we haven't included that yet. Um, we have our cactus and our pot. Let's move some of this. Uh, I believe this is all for the needles. So I'm going to put it inside of this frame. Yeah, this is our needles. This is our cactus. This is everything joined together. Uh, we have our pot that's nice and extruded, um, but we do have yet another issue, which is it's kind of shade flatted. Right? And if I want, want to run this through a set shade smooth, it's going to kind of smooth everything, creating kind of a weird upper lip because the geometry doesn't have much going on up here. Not much going on socially. So uh, in the next part, let's work on the shading of how to make some parts shade smooth and some parts not shade smooth.